Hello and welcome to a Super Pro's Watergate tutorial. Um, today I will not be showing you how to make these water gates, however I will be linking in the description um, oh, the world save file for all these logic gates, all four of these. So the first one is not my own design because it's um, one that was come up with a long time ago. It's the OR gate. If you put input on either of these red, then the brown has output. AND gate. The AND gate is a little bit more difficult, but I believe I've condensed it down to an acceptable size. Um, you put an input on the red, and these will switch, depending. But only when you have one on both does the water actually flow through. A NOT gate this was a little bit more difficult. Oh, before I move on to the NOT gate, something you should note about the AND gate is that um, with the precise way that I've done it currently, um, if you put the input right here, it will cause a problem. So you, you may have to modify that if you want the inputs really close together. The, the problem it causes is as soon as I shut this off, um, you'll note that it is has not closed because the boat is still above the ground due to the water right there causing it to float. So you have to have your input right there so that when you turn it off it flows back this way away from that water. Knot gate. The knot gate was a bit challenging to figure out a way to uh, to uh, invert the way a boat sits on a pressure plate. But the way I figured out how to do it is simply to, instead of using a boat, use a mob. In this case, very docile, very easy to use villager. They're very helpful. Um, as long as the boat is off the pressure plate, this does not push the villager away from the pressure plate, since their natural reaction is to not fight the water, they will be on this pressure plate and just sit there, since they don't like water. I'm going to turn it today real quick. There you go. Um, to just sit on this pressure plate nice and easy and keep this up. As soon as you turn it off, no water, and he gets pushed off the pressure plate, lowering this and allowing water to flow again. All of these can be combined into uh, the basic building block of a block of a one-bit adder, which is an XOR gate. Here I have a diagram to show you of a XOR gate. Um, the input one and two are combined into two different gates, or an AND. The AND is changed to NOT AND, and then combined again with the OR to make the output. The place I do that in here, this boat right here represents the OR gate, causing this to flow. That will lead to this AND gate over there. This is the AND gate and the NOT gate leading back into the final AND gate. So. What an XOR gate does, for those of you who are not aware yet, um, if one input is on, then the output is on. But, so on and on both cases, but if two are on, then the output is off, or if both are off, then the output is once again off. So there you have it. I have a link to these in the description. Um, rate, subscribe, enjoy.